Hi, this video will show you how to add bar loads in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Professional 2017. So what I want to do is that I want to be in the loads layout first of all and then what I want to do is click on the load case that I want to add the bar load to. Then I'm going to go to, as I already mentioned, I have to be in the loads layout over here. Then I could go to load definition, then bar. Then you've got different options, including uniform load, trapezoidal load, uniform moment, and bar force. Now, over here you could also delete the selected load type. I will click on uniform load. I would type in in the Z minus 10 kilonewton per meter. Then what I want to do is basically choose the elements that I want to add this load to. So I click on apply and then I click on each and every element I want to apply this load to. As you can realize there is a tag showing PZ minus 10 which is basically a uniform load. Now what I could do as well is that I could take this tag and drag it away from the structure to make sure that it is a clearly viewed structure. Same thing, load definition, I'm going to go to bar. I'm going to use bar force this time and I'm going to go with a moment over here making sure first of all that everything is set to zero. Now I'm going to go with minus 5 as a force over here and close. Same thing with the tag or label, just dragging it outside to make sure that I can view the structure clearly. 